Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to set up your Nikon D7000 to do a HDR time lapse. It's relatively easy and the nice part is, is you don't have to buy any extra equipment. So let's get started. The way that we are going to set up our Nikon D7000 in order to do the HDR time lapse is to use the custom user settings. On the top dial of your camera you will see a U1 or a U2 and you can think of that as user setting 1, user setting 2. Um, it allows you to save different custom settings into your camera um, that otherwise you wouldn't be able to save in different in the other modes. So go ahead and turn the dial to U1 and dial in in any of the settings as far as your f-stop, your aperture, your ISO, how you would uh, get ready to take your HDR picture itself. So after you have your settings the way that you want them in the U1 position, we're now going to locate the bracketing button on the side of the camera. It'll be a small button that says BKT, and this is what allows you to do the HDR photos. It'll take a normally exposed one, plus an overexposed, plus an underexposed, and when you merge those three together in post, that's what gets your HDR. So this button allows us to be able to do those. So in order to set the bracketing, we need to hold the small BKT button, and as soon as you do that, you will see that on the top LCD screen, you'll see a 0F and maybe a 0.3. Now, hold down that button and rotate your front button till the right number says 2.0. Then rotate your back button until you get to a number that says 3F. This will ensure that your camera is taking three photos over two stops and under two stops. Now, when you release your finger off the BKT button, you will see in your screen a BKT icon. This is to let you know that, hey, guess what? It is set and ready to go. Now we want to be able to save the settings um, for everything we just set up. So we want to go into our menu and scroll down to the wrench icon and find the Save User Settings option. Once there, just hit OK, and the next screen pops up U1 or U2. This is where it's going to save the settings that are currently on that camera to either the custom user 1 or custom user 2. Since we have our dial at U1, we're going to choose U1 and hit OK. Now that we have all the settings saved and ready to go, we're now going to begin setting up to actually take the time lapse. One of the most important things about doing time lapse is to completely wipe out cards and um, file sequence settings. So we're going to go through this first before we ever get started shooting. So now on the same wrench icon, we're going to go ahead and hit format memory card. Now depending upon which slot your card is in, if you have one in both, you probably want to just format them all. This ensures that everything is good to go. So you can hit slot one, slot two, or and then hit OK. Now, when doing the HDR time lapses, you got to think that you're taking three photos at once. So to make this real easy on ourselves, we always want to make sure that we reset our file numbers inside the camera. It can get confusing if it starts with 7614. So we're going to go in and manually reset the files to start at 1. You will now move up to the little pencil icon and choose the shooting in display option. Scroll through until you can find D8, which is the file number sequence, and hit OK. And now the menu option comes up to on, off, or reset. Scroll down in, uh, until you hit reset and then hit OK. And now the fun part begins. The nice thing about the Nikon cameras is that we don't have to buy an external remote. We have the option to set this up in camera. And this is how we're going to do it. You're going to scroll to where it has the camera icon in your shooting menu and hit interval timer shooting. It will now bring up the screen of when do you want to start your time lapse. 
you can either set it to now, which means after you get through the next few screens, the time lapse will automatically start, or you can have a start time where you set um, you set it on the tripod and then maybe you say, hey, I want to start it in a couple hours from now. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and choose start now. Now you come to the screen where you can set your intervals. This is going to vary depending upon what type of time lapse that you were doing. Here in the settings, you can set it for either hours, minutes, or seconds. Here you can see on the screen that the camera is set up to take a photo once every five seconds. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that since we're doing HDR, the camera has to have a little bit of time to take three shots at once. So space it out a little bit, um, give it a little bit of time to be able to buffer and write to the camera. Now we have come to the crucial part of where to set the actual HDR capabilities inside of this timer. You will see where it says select intervals, time the number of shots. So if you think about it, the way this is reading is that we're going to take a photo every five seconds, 499 times. Now if you look at the number three that's highlighted in the screen, this is what you really need to pay attention to and change because now that we have set up in our camera to do bracketing to take three shots the camera now knows if you set that number to three to take those three shots all at once every five seconds this is how you get your HDR time lapse the camera will calculate out how many photos to take you'll see that says 1497 so I know it gets a little confusing with all the math and there are a lot of photos to take so this is why we make sure we have formatted cards and that we have restarted our file numbering now after you right arrow over after setting everything up you will come to basically when to start your time lapse now if you hit on and hit OK right then and there the time lapse will begin so it'd be a good idea to first test this out before you do 500 photos maybe set it to 10 let it go and then check your camera to make sure that um, it's taking correctly and you like the way that it's looking um, that that it's set up the way that you like it uh, then of course go back in start the file numbering all over again because you want to start it with one just to make your life easier um, but when you get ready to do it for real, make sure before you start any of this timer shooting, have your camera on a tripod wherever you're at, and then begin these steps all over again. So I hope that helped um, setting up a time lapse HDR in your Nikon D7000. It's an awesome camera. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thanks, guys.